still have a very mess in your folder of a pile of PDF files that you would like to rename. So for instance, these two, I really want to name them properly instead of looking at these digits as the file name. So today I'm going to share with you how to use Zotello and its extension called the Zot file to do this process automatically. So first, we can, so everything has been linked uh, on my workstation. The Zot file has been added to Zotello and the files have been downloaded to the folder. Now I need to understand the, this file, which citation I should add it to. So I open this file to look for the author's name, which is Gosling. So we go to the, oh, let's remember the, the file ends with 2008. So we go to Zotello, we look for Gosling here. Then we right click the citation, choose add attachment, attach link to file, look for 2008 here, click open. As you can see here, the file name is still the same as you saw in the folder. It's a, a few digits, doesn't have any meaning. But if you click, right click the file, and you click rename file from parent metadata, the magic will happen. Look, so it has been automatically um, updated, the, the file has been renamed according to the metadata. And if you return to the um, file, you're going to see in the folder, the, the PDF has also been automatically re renamed. The work has been done very nicely. So let's repeat this process. We open a PDF just to refresh your memory on the task. We open the file of the PDF to understand the link with the citation. We look for the author's name. In this case, is Davis. We go to, as with 2007, we go to Zotello, look for divots, right click, add attachment, attach link to 007, that's the file, add it again, right click, rename file from parent metadata, boom, it's done. Go back here, we see divots there. So this is a very convenient way to automatically update the PDF files you downloaded to a folder in a local disk and maintain the link between the citation and the PDF file automatically.